Hey guys, I'm back and this is taking me forever to film, which is ridiculous because I literally went to buy all this the day that the sale started for Rouge, which was like a week ago. Um, and I've already used some of the products, so don't kill me. But this is what I actually picked up from the Sephora sale. I picked up a lot less than I thought, to be honest, so be proud of me. Because I knew I was going to be doing some um, Louis Vuitton damage, so I, I honed it in. So let's get started. The first thing that I got that you will see is, is I've already used, is this pharmacy kit. This is my favorite moisturizer. It's the Honey Halo, and this alone is about 40 something dollars and this whole kit was 60 and it comes with a full size cream and then a full size mask and then it comes with a sample of the of a night serum on so I thought this was a really good deal I don't know if you guys can can see it um I use the crap out of this man it's so good and then I got I got like kits so I have I, I straighten my hair usually or I do curls but I have very curly hair and it's very frizzy so I saw this and it had really great reviews and it's the wow brand anti-frizz serum so supposedly this is what the back says supposedly that's what it does to your hair okay so that that literally is what my hair likes looks like like the frizz or worse whenever um i blow dry it it's literally like this big so i will try this out and tell you guys if it's any good it was sold out online but thankfully my store had it and then i picked up this little laneige kit i love these masks and i have in my nightstand i have like a little bin inside of the drawer and i have like some eye cream face cream and then I always have like aquaphor or little masks like that because sometimes at night my lips um get chapped and we sleep with a very um we like to turn down the AC for the house to get really cold at night so those are always good to have and I've tried them and I love them I also love the lip glosses the next thing I got from Patrick Ta it was a lip gloss I've been really into um lip glosses as you can see I've been obsessed with well you'll see I bought some here um bought some lip glosses look how beautiful this is I'm gonna try it on while you guys are on here that is beautiful that literally made my lips look super juicy I love I feel like I'm due for I haven't gotten my lips done in over a year and I kind of want I always get half a syringe I kind of want to do it he's made my lips look so juicy okay the next thing I got these things are so cute this i i guess i also waited to film this because i did order these uh two things online this is by the brand um semi haze um i can't remember this is a celebrity brand but i can't remember what celebrity so i guess they're not that famous no um look how cute this is this is a little lipstick i it's magnetized which is awesome it's 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 kind of fat okay it's kind of bulky but look at that isn't that a beautiful color i saw these and i thought they were so cute and the packaging i, would, I just got suckered in because of the packaging and then i also got a lip gloss because like i said i've, I've been really into lip gloss lately because it was a little color because i feel like it's so easy the thing is that I feel like my top lip is very thin and it's une uneven on one side. And sometimes when I put lipstick, it takes me forever to freaking even out the side or at least how I like it. So a lip gloss just looks good in an easy swipe. Like, look at this behemoth. Like, I'm going to show you the Patrick Tall, like, so you can see, like, this is like a normal sized lip gloss. And look at this little fatty over here. You know, we love a good fatty. Look at that. And it's this beautiful magenta lipstick. Uh, lip gloss and they have a lot of little fun stuff but I thought the packaging was just so cute like isn't that the cutest thing ever so I bought that online um and then the next thing I got are the this little tart set I love these things and I don't have any of these colors because these are a little bit different so it comes with a four pack and then it, it's cool because it also comes in two individual packs so you actually can do can make two gifts out of this or of course you can put it in a stocking stuffer and split it up but I always buy this is my second year buying this set because I freaking love these but I don't think personally I don't think they're worth I think they're like $20 a piece regular price I don't think they're worth $20 a piece because it's called Juicy Lip. They're very emollient, so I feel like they you can finish them very, very quickly. And then I only have a couple things less, uh, left. 
So I bought this Tower 28 spray. I bu I bought this and I I bought a sample of this to try, like a mini size, and um, I really liked it. I have a lot of redness. I think I probably have a little bit of rosacea, and I feel like I love spraying my face before I put moisturizer. An esthetician one recommended that to me years ago, so I always do it. But what I usually use is the Caudalie grape oil spray or grape water spray. But I ran out of this, and I feel like it did help calm my redness a little bit. So I bought another one of another one of them. These last me a good little bit. Um, I do. That's like a daily thing I use. I want to do a video of stuff that I like my rider dies. Like I do have a group. I have a lot of makeup. Like I have drawers, and as you can see, like I have a shelf. I've done better. I haven't been. I used to shop so much at Sephora, but. I feel like now I get overwhelmed with like having a lot of clutter so I'm trying like to be honest like this is nothing compared to how much I would buy I would go literally like three four times and have like bags full of stuff and then I would end up using like half of the things or even less because it was just too much I only have one face that was when I was younger you know you get older you get wiser but anyway so then the last few things I purchased were um this Tarte blush I have been wanting this for a minute, and they were relatively inexpensive. Um, so, let me show you guys. This is the peach color. I love peach blush, or like nude blush. That Those are my favorite colors more than the pink one. Isn't this beautiful? And very soft. This is what it looks like. Let me do a better swatch than that. It's kind of light. Okay, and then... Oh, my battery's gonna die. So I'll go quickly. Um, the next thing I'll have here is the Gucci um, blush in the color. Hopefully this is filming. Yes, okay. The Gucci blush. These are pink to open, but they're beautiful. I got it in a pink color because, like I said, peach is my favorite. I can never open this. Okay, guys, I'm not going to be able to open this. I'll put the color here. I have a lot of peach, like I said, so I got something a little bit different. This is a pink color. And then I got this Gucci lip liner that I've been wanting for a while um, in the color caramel. I would not buy this again. I opened this, and this is very cheap. This literally feels like a dollar lip liner from um, Dollar General or something. So, look, I just did it, and it crumbled. This is not... I would I would skip this. I'm not going to return it because I already bought it. But And the color is beautiful. It's called Mien, which is honey. So I'm not going to return it, but I wouldn't. Don't buy the Gucci Le It's freaking $30, and it, it should be $0.50. Cents. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.